while launch aborted few seconds after countdown. SpaceX officials confirmed that there was no technical problem, it was a usual automated safety measure that caused the abortion. Back with you again, we're still waiting for word on countdown net for the cause of the abort. We just hear, did hear the call out that the scrub safing sequence is underway. This is a standard procedure. We go through this every time we stand and fire a Falcon 9 in Texas and at the launch sites. So this is not unusual to the team. However, because it is a scrub safe thing, we expect that this will end our launch attempts for today, given that we only had a 59 minute window. But we're gonna stay here for just another minute in case we can get some information. After a quick meeting, the officials gave their final conclusion and observations on what actually caused the abort. SpaceX has in his capacity, assure us that a relaunching date will be broadcasted shortly, but confirms it's surely not tomorrow. My greatest happiness is that the Falcon rocket, is in a perfect state, and fit for relaunching as soon as possible. John Esperker again, as you heard, countdown one, as they went through their safing procedure, the team does reach a point where the engineers brief out what the cause of the abort was, in this case, you heard the SpaceX launch director discuss this as a GNC criteria abort. This is a computer abort that happened at T-minus 10 seconds, where we're looking at the status of the guidance system and the flight hardware that supports it. It appears that something was out of limits. The computer stopped the countdown before we got into the engine ignition sequence. Unfortunately, though, as we heard the launch director state, we're not going to be able to recycle the countdown in the time that we have left in the window and make another attempt today. We do have, obviously, the data from the countdown and the abort. The team will be able to look at that. That'll give us an opportunity to assess when we might be able to launch again, but it will not be today. Now, as a reminder, there is a backup launch window tomorrow, almost the same time, about a minute or so earlier than we were planning to launch this evening from Complex 39A in the Kennedy Space Center. So that's going to wrap up our webcast. We got the weather cooperated today. We got all the way down to 10 seconds. Uh, then we had an automated abort. Falcon 9 looks good. We're safing the rocket. We'll offload propellants. We'll take a look at what the data is and then figure out what our next launch opportunity is going to be. So I invite you to follow along on our social media pages as we know more and we can replan for when the next launch of Intelsat 35E will be from Launch Complex 39A on the Falcon 9. With that, we'd like to thank everyone who supported, especially the teams that have worked to get us to this point, and we hope to be able to come back maybe as early as tomorrow at the same time and bring you the launch of Intelsat 35E. But until our webcast resumes again, we're signing off for this afternoon. Thank you for watching, and good evening. This is from the webcast of today launching attempt, and webcast portal opens same time tomorrow. Earth actually makes information easier and subscribe to be updated. Thanks for being a part of this great generation. One love keeps us together as one.